When you buy the Insta360 ONE R, it comes with the Insta360 standard mounting bracket, but there is an alternative, which is the Ulanzi cage. So is it worth changing? Let's get straight to it and take a look. The overall size of both of these are more or less identical, but the weight is very different. The Insta360 bracket is 35 grams, and the Ulanzi cage is 88 grams, so more than double the weight. The Insta360 bracket is made of solid plastic, and the Ulanzi cage is made of metal so it does feel more solid and more robust. The Ulanzi cage in the way it's designed offers more protection to the record and the on button due to having these two lips that raise up either side and this may help with accidental button presses as well. It's easy to put the camera in both of these but it's more straightforward with the Ulanzi cage. With the Ulanzi cage there is a small clip at the top and one door that opens on a hinge. With the Insta360 bracket you have one large door and then you also have this top door that wraps over the top and snaps in place. The Ulanzi door has got a small movement in when it's closed and the Insta360 door doesn't move at all. So it feels more secure because of the design. So for action use, the design of the Insta360 door feels more secure, even though it's a little more awkward to open and close. Accessibility to buttons and the memory card door is easier on the Ulanzi cage and as always, you lands you always give plenty of room for your fingers. The Insta360 bracket is designed with just enough room, which at times makes it awkward. As expected, the Ulanzi cage and the Insta360 bracket both don't show up in your shots because they are hidden in the stitch line of the camera. In terms of mounting options, this is where the cages are set apart. The Insta360 bracket has GoPro finger mounts that are fixed in place and stick out of the bracket. The fingers are curved, so allow the cage to move freely if you want it to tilt your camera on a selfie stick when using the 4K mod or the 1 inch mod. To use a quarter inch thread you have to attach a tripod mount adapter. This design is a pain for 360 use where it's essential that the camera remains straight on the selfie stick or the mount. And using this adapter it's very easy to misalign your camera. The Ulanzi cage however has an integrated quarter inch thread in the cage itself which makes alignment of the cage and the selfie stick a lot easier and also means all the sides are flat so not only does it look nicer, but you can also put the camera down more securely compared to the Insta360 cage. If you did want to use a GoPro finger mount with the Ulanzi cage, these are included as a separate add-on and you have to attach them using the included screws and the Allen key. Once they are on though, they are solid and won't move. They do stick out though, and unlike the Ulanzi cage for the boosted battery, they can't be folded into the body of the cage, which is a shame. Even though the finger mount is squared off, you can still tilt it when it's on a selfie stick or on another camera mount. And this is because the thread hole isn't round, it's oval, which gives you enough vertical movement that you can move the camera up and down to allow for the tilting on your bracket. With the Insta360 bracket, you can use the Insta360 lens guards, but unfortunately you can't with the Ulanzi cage. And as far as I know, there aren't any lens guards that are compatible with the Ulanzi cage, but if you know of any, let me know in the comments. A benefit that the Ulanzi cage has over the Insta360 bracket is that it has two integrated cold shoe mounts. One of these is on top and one is on the side, and you can use these for mounting a light or a microphone. And these have been cleverly integrated in that they don't really affect the overall size of the cage. And the other feature is that there are four additional quarter inch threads on the base which give you more options for attaching different mounts. I thought the winner would be obvious out of these two cages, but actually that's not the case. Whether you buy this cage would just be dependent on what your everyday needs are with your camera. For me personally, I like the fact that the Ulanzi cage has the integrated quarter inch thread and I'll definitely make the use of the cold shoe mounts. But I will still have to use the standard mounting bracket for when I want to use the lens guards. Let me know in the comments what you think. You can watch these two videos next with more Insta360 1R mounting accessories. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.